everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well today i thought it would be fun to actually film like a get ready with me even though we're going nowhere these days but i don't know i felt that i wanted to share my skincare as well as my like minimal makeup that i like to do when i actually stay at home i don't do this every day i do it whenever I feel I want to, I don't know, look a bit more zhuzhed up, let's say that. Um, so what did I do today? So today is a Saturday. You'll be seeing this tomorrow. And this morning, actually, I did like this 45-minute stretching exercise with, I don't know if you know her, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows uh, this girl on youtube and her name is yoga with adrian and i really really actually like her workout i'm going to leave the link of her video down below and yes it is like a 45 minute stretching workout yes it seems very very long which i thought at first but it went by so fast and honestly since we're all staying at home and sitting almost all the time i think it's really good to stretch your body i honestly feel so much more relaxed and taller uh, which is great since i'm a super short woman so feeling a bit like one or two centimeters taller after a bit of a stretch is pretty good um yeah so this week i think it'll be like i think this week i've just ended like my week four of like self-quarantine and social distancing Jakarta this week they have put like new rules like newer strict rules to really have the city on lockdown um, I still need to go once a week to the office when I come back home from the office I have to like you know get naked and get to the shower and just clean everything I'm just a bit paranoid that I'm transmitting this virus to like some family members but all in all we're staying at home um, all the time I'm just like I said I'm just going once a week to the office now so I've always been a very homebody person so this doesn't affect me that much because I've always been that girl who tries to find a gazillion things to do around the house like even today I am planning to do like an Instagram picture and I've actually seen ooh, I've actually seen a lot of um, a lot of um, accounts on Instagram whereby they take pictures with like magazines like they do like a magazine collage wall and so yesterday I found like a box with full of old fashion magazines and I just took the ones that I like and so I'm gonna try to create some type of backdrop and try to be creative that's the only thing that I've been doing much more lately since we're all now stuck at home I've been very very much creative and trying to I don't know I think that relaxes me and I think if you're at home and you're really really bored I think you should find an activity or you should go back to things that you would like to do or things that really gives you much enjoyment and if it's like doing yoga every day then do that um, but if it's also sitting on a couch watching movie for two three hours you go do that too because since we are now taking things slow. I think it's also good to not always be on the move and wanting to do things really constantly doing stuff. I think it's nice to be able to relax. So if you are that kind of person and you need a bit of relaxation, then go ahead. I'm gonna start doing my skincare and stop talking because I think I'm boring now. So what I'm going to do first is tone my face. I currently love this one by Thayer's. Can you see? Yeah, this is a facial toner with Witch Hazel. I don't know why. I really, really like this. I like toners that don't have any alcohol, so it doesn't like dry out my skin. By the way, I do have oily combination skin, and I have a lot of acne scarring on my cheeks. So I like to do this. It's so good. It's so refreshing. And I really like the smell. And I put it here as well, onto my neck. Like I've mentioned, I don't do my makeup every day, but I do my skincare every day. But just makeup, I just wear it when I need to go to the office and then when I feel like 
I don't know, when I need a bit of something on my face, then I would do my makeup. And then after that, I will use this. Again, it's the same thing. It's like the same... Oh god, this... this not computer, this um, camera. This one is also another uh, toner, but in a mist form. And it is actually the same as the other one, which is... Oh, the other one is actually original, so there is like no scent. But this one is cucumber, and it's really, really refreshing. So I like to spit that on my face. So good. Whew, that feels good. And then I wait a couple of minutes until it all sets onto my skin. By the way, I would like to know if you're watching my videos, where are you from? And so, yeah, just comment down below where are you from? And yeah, I'll probably reply back. I love are replying back to comments so now I'm gonna put a bit of eye cream my favorite one is this one by Antipode it is really really good it is the Manuka honey skin brightening eye cream I bought it last year when I, whilst I was in New Zealand you can actually watch that vlog the only thing I don't like is that it's in a pot where you have to put your finger inside so it's not really hygienic but it really works I mean, works. I don't know if it really works, but it's really hydrating, in my opinion. And if I'm looking to the right side, it's because my mirror is there. It feels really good onto your skin, and I love the smell. Smell really like honey. Okay, now what else? Okay, now I'm gonna put a bit of an essence. Yeah, this is by Misha, which is a... Korean brand and it is the time revolution the first treatment essence air up air la la I can't speak but it is the time revolution um, essence by Misha it has like some kind of um, fermented things inside which I don't know what exactly it is all I know it's like something that it's fermented and I know like um, fermented Molecules? No, not molecules. Fermented. Hmm, I can't speak. Fermented ingredients is actually really good for your face because if it's fermented, it means that it has probiotics, right? Something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But I really, really like this one because this is, I think, also um, a dupe of the SK2 essence, but like in a much more cheaper version. And I really like it. I can't live without this so I put it onto my hands and then I just tap it onto my face anyways how have you been at home what kind of activities have you been doing lately also comment down below can talk to me and yeah let's be social let's be kind to one another and let's support each other during this really really tough times I know everybody some people are really struggling with all these coronavirus, so we definitely need to support each other more. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm just going to put some moisturizer, and I'm currently using this one by Clinique. It's not really my favorite one, but I'm trying to finish it so that I can, you know, purchase one that I prefer than this one. But yeah, I'm just trying to finish this product. Down to my hands, and then just put it everywhere onto my face it feels so good to do a bit of self-love and self-pampering I think a lot of people have been doing that lately a lot of self-love a lot of self-care which is good for your mind body and soul okay actually I wanted to groom my eyebrows my eyebrows are going a bit crazy so let me see if I can do that. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I normally go to a like um beauty beauty bar, not a beauty bar, like a eyebrow bar type of institution, <laughs> type of institution, like a shop where they do like their brows. I don't know what I'm talking about. And since everything is closed, my eyebrows have been so bushy. So I'm gonna try to zoom you in. What okay, here it is. And I'm gonna try to show you how I do it. Okay, wow, okay. 
This is really, you're very close to me. Okay. We are very, very intimate here. But, so, I have a tweezer. I have a scissor. These are actually uh, nail scissors, but I don't know, they work pretty good. Definitely need to clean them. So, I'm gonna clean them with some alcohol. I haven't done my eyebrows, like, by myself for a very, very long time, so I'm not too sure if I'm doing this correctly. But this is basically how I do it if I don't have time to do my eyebrows. And since everything is closed, we're, yeah, we're just gonna do it ourselves. Like even my hair, my hair is so long already I find and I just want to cut it but I'm not going to cut it myself because cutting hair is seriously not my talent so I'm not going to even attempt to do that. And then what you need to do, what you need to do, what you need to have is a spoolie. Um, so what I do is I'm going to brush everything upwards. I honestly don't have a lot of eyebrows. Wasn't blessed in that department. My big sister has like amazing eyebrows. She really got really good jeans. <laughs> so once I fluff it up, I take the scissor and I cut the long hairs. Okay, once you're happy with that, I don't know if I'm happy with that. Actually, I don't know. My eyebrows are like non-existent, so it's just very hard. That's why I always ask somebody to do it because I'm really, really, really bad at this. But if this is entertaining for you, then, well, you're welcome. I'm gonna brush them downwards now. I'm gonna cut this part here. I think these, some of them here are a bit long. Now we're doing the same on the other side. So I'm going to brush them upwards. They're not super, super long, but they've been growing about here and there. So later I need to Pluck some of them, but I'm just gonna. Okay, now that we've cut our eyebrows, I'm gonna pluck the areas that are like growing everywhere and anywhere. This is the best that I can do. Okay, so that was it in the eyebrow department. I'm not doing things overboard and I don't want to ruin my eyebrows. So I just plucked here and there, cut a bit here and there. And now we can just move on to makeup. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna put any skin, uh, not skincare, I'm not gonna put any sunscreen because I'm just staying indoors, so no sunscreen for me. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. I always like to prime my eyelids because I have really, really oily eyelids. And so I like, I don't know, I just like to prime them. I think it gives a nice base. I'm not putting any eyeshadow or things like that. But I just like to do it. Again, I'm looking at the right side because that is where my mirror is at. Apply my eyelids. Also, since doing a lot of working from home and staying at home, I haven't put a lot of like powder or foundation. And even nowadays, when I go like once a week to the office, I don't even put powder. I just leave my skin super bare. As you can see just now in the close up, I don't have perfect skin. I've never had perfect skin. So, once I'm happy with priming my eyes, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So, I'm gonna brush them upwards and then I'm gonna use my favorite 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 eyebrow pencil that is becoming smaller and smaller by day my favorite Shimura eyebrow pencil 
I've also not been using, um, what is it called, like concealer. I've been really, really like minimal with my makeup lately. I think everybody has been like that. And it's, it feels nice, but obviously you want to look a bit, I don't know, like decent. I mean, staying at home doesn't mean that you need to look like a hobo, you know what I mean? Like you definitely need to make an effort. And it's also good for your mind, I think, to do things that you normally do, like to have like a routine. We really need to keep ourselves positive that this will end soon. Take it day by day. Enjoy every moment. Take a deep breath because we're all in this together and just going to be positive and keeping this YouTube space a positive space for everyone. Okay, now that I'm happy with the shape of my eyebrows, I'm gonna take a spoolie again and try to make it as natural as possible. By the way, if you have any like recommendations to do, like activities, not activities like movies and TV shows, please also comment down below. Actually share it with me and actually share it with anyone who might be watching this and commenting down below. So who knows, you might help them. That would be very, very nice and thoughtful. Honestly, the, one of the reasons why I like to do my makeup and all that is because I think you don't focus on anything bad or anything else than your face and I think that's why a lot of girls or boys really like to do their makeup it's because of that because your mind focuses on just doing your eyes your eyebrows or makeup you're not wandering around and thinking oh the world is like ending soon or something like that so I think that's why a lot of people like to do makeup and like I've said even though you're at home please 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 you know have a routine and do things that you have been doing before all of this so that you know you have like a bit of a sense of normality even though we all know that we are currently not living in normal times and you know that's okay it's okay to admit that but it's also important to not lose yourself in this i think a lot of people might lose lose themselves so it's important to have a routine and enjoy it. Don't fight this moment, enjoy it. I think that would be a my suggestions. My suggestions, like I have a lot of suggestions, but that would be my suggestion for you. It would be to enjoy this moment, don't fight it, enjoy it. Because you will never get this moment of being at home, surrounded by loved ones, enjoying your, maybe your silence, little silent solitude moment, which sometimes we all need. We need a bit of solitude, you know? enjoy it don't fight it there is no point in fighting it enjoy every moment okay i'm now gonna put a bit of lip balm because my lips are really dry i like this one by nivea and it smells like watermelon it's so good okay i'm now going to curl my eyelashes <music> I am now going to prime my eyelashes i always need to prime my eyelashes with this eye primer by Etude House so the reason why I like to prime my eyelashes is because when I curl my eyelashes I need them to stay put and the eye primer really helps to do that and I'm gonna take my favorite mascara this one is by Maybelline the total temptation and I'm just gonna do my mascara so there are days I just stop here and say, okay, I call it a day. I've put enough makeup to feel good. By the way, there's a lot of commotion in my house because we are a lot of people living in this house. So I'm sorry if it's a bit noisy. But there are days that when I'm like, mm, no, I need a bit of eyeliner, then I will put a bit of eyeliner. Which today I'm going to do. I feel like I need a bit of... I don't know, je ne sais quoi, something on my eyes. I seldom put eyeshadows these days. I just really, really put just eye primer and then mascara and then like a winged eyeliner time to time.
So yeah, that's basically what I like to do. I don't even gonna put blush. Um, yeah, I seldom put blush nowadays. It just this is basically my very simple makeup look during this stay at home session. Sometimes what I like to do is to take the um, lip balm. I'm just gonna put a bit of onto my cheek like that so it gives a bit of like a highlighter effect but it's just yeah not so much you can see but sometimes I like to do that just for a bit of I don't know house glow <laughs> okay I wanted to share with you my outfit of the day and what I've been wearing here at home so I've been wearing like this cute shorts that I got years ago at H&M they're so comfortable and they're very cute because they have like this lace detail I'm wearing like a crop top I did my hair into a braid. This is my very comfy, chic at home attire. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me and spending time with me. Don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel. I know a lot of people watching my videos are not subscribed, but if you would like to subscribe to my channel, then please do. You can also leave a comment down below telling me whatever you want to tell me and I will reply back to you. Let's have a positive discussion down below. Also, what can you do? You can also follow me on Instagram and yeah, you can also follow me on TikTok there. I mostly just dance on there just to... Yeah, that's something I've been doing lately during this self-quarantine. I've been on TikTok trying to learn some dance move. You know, your girl is a millennial but, you know, trying to catch up with the what generation Z, X, I don't know, the younger generation who clearly have better moves than this old lady there on TikTok. Anyways, um, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for watching this and I will see you next time with another video. Stay safe. I feel that everybody is saying that uh, these days so I have to say to you to I don't know, to stay safe, stay home, and stay healthy. Bye!